Navarro. Follow him in. He took everything from me. And filled me with. They're brewing up another Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Yep, you heard it right. But hold on to your pirate hats, because it seems like our beloved Jack Sparrow might be taking a back seat this time around. Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer, spilled the beans confirming that they're rebooting the franchise. Ahoy, mateys! But before you get too excited, remember that the plan has been in the works for a while, since 2019 to be exact. Still, it's like a ship setting sail with a new crew, so there's hope in the horizon. It's been a long seven years since we last set sail with Dead Men Tell No Tales, so fans are definitely eager for more adventure. Keep your eyes peeled for updates on this new pirate escapade. Well, matey, it looks like we're sailing into uncharted waters with the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. While there's no official cast list yet, it seems like we'll be seeing a whole new crew hoisting the Jolly Roger this time around. Jerry Bruckheimer hinted at a fresh start for the franchise, mentioning that they're gearing up for a reboot with a new cast. Now, don't go searching for your old favorites like Captain Jack Sparrow or Will Turner, because it sounds like they won't be making a return. Yep, that's right. Johnny Depp and the gang might be taking a break from the high seas. It's been hinted that this decision could be linked to some real-life drama between Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard, but whatever the reason, it seems like the ship has sailed on their involvement in the franchise. Elizabeth Swan. What? Or say you, Captain Swan, King of the Brethren Court. We shall go to war. Depp expressed his sentiments, stating, That is true. There was a deep and distinct sense of feeling betrayed by the people that I've worked hard for. People that I delivered a character to that they initially despised, but I stuck to my guns with the character and it seemed to work. Additionally, there were talks about Margot Robbie taking the helm in a female-centered pirate's adventure. This wasn't meant to be a reboot or a direct spin-off, but rather a fresh story with new characters. However, Robbie revealed that the project has hit a standstill. We had an idea and we were developing it for a while, ages ago, to have more of a female-led, not totally female-led, but just a different kind of story, which we thought would have been really cool, but I guess they don't want to do it she shared with Vanity Fair in 2022. The pens behind the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot belong to Craig Mazin, the mastermind behind The Last of Us and Chernobyl, along with the original screenwriter Ted Elliott. They joined forces on this new Pirates venture back in 2019 after Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, the Deadpool duo, stepped away from the project as per deadline. However, their progress got halted by the 2023 WGA strike. Mazin shared the surprising journey of their pitch with the Los Angeles Times in August 2023, saying, We pitched it and thought there's no way they're buying it. It's too weird. And they did. Unfortunately, just as things were picking up steam, the strike hit, leaving everyone hanging. Initially, Christina Hodson, who worked on Birds of Prey alongside Robbie, was tied to the Robbie-led version of the movie as a writer, as confirmed by EW. However, it seems like those plans have shifted as well. Interestingly, during his trial, Depp mentioned that Disney approached him to take part in writing in Pirate 6 before Heard's op-ed. He also highlighted his contributions to the franchise's writing, expressing confusion over the sudden change in dynamics with Disney. While the winds of the next Pirates of the Caribbean adventure are blowing, we're still left hanging when it comes to specifics like release dates, titles, plots, or even who's going to be at the helm directing. Jerry Bruckheimer, the man behind the scenes, gave a hint of the ongoing journey during an interview with ComicBook.com. When asked whether a new Top Gun or Pirates movie would set sail first, he kept it cryptic, saying, It's hard to tell. You don't know. You really don't know. Because with Top Gun, you have an actor who is iconic and brilliant. And how many movies he does before he does Top Gun, I can't tell you. But we're going to reboot Pirates, so that is easier to put together because you don't have to wait for certain actors. So with the recent news, Disney's hinting they might set sail in a new direction sans Sparrow, but nothing set in stone. If they do decide to keep the character and find a new face for him, who do you reckon could step into Depp's shoes as Jack Sparrow? If Jack Sparrow makes a comeback in POTC6, one option for the creators could be to replace the actor with someone similar in style and stature. This is what the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them franchise did 
when Depp was let go from the role of Grindelwald during pre-production of the third movie. Mads Mikkelsen stepped in to replace Depp in that series and might be considered for the same role in Pirates of the Caribbean. However, there are several drawbacks to this idea. Recasting Depp didn't significantly improve the struggling Harry Potter spin-off series at the box office, although it was one of the brighter spots in the film. Additionally, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise relies heavily on the charisma of its individual actors, making it a bigger challenge for someone like Mickelson, known for his role as the villain in Casino Royale, to fill Sparrow's shoes. Therefore, it's unlikely that the Danish star will take over the role in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Even if Johnny Depp's return to Pirates of the Caribbean seems unlikely, there are still other options on the horizon for Jack Sparrow, including someone who was almost cast in the role for the first movie. Before Depp came aboard, Matthew McConaughey was actually considered for the part back in the early 2000s, mainly because of his resemblance to the character's original inspiration, Burt Lancaster. In recent times, McConaughey has experienced a resurgence in his career, breaking free from the romantic comedy stereotype that defined much of his earlier work. He's gained significant acclaim for taking on more serious roles, but this critical success hasn't always translated into box office hits, especially in the realm of big-budget blockbusters. Given the importance of the role of Jack Sparrow, it might be too risky to bank on McConaughey's recent mixed track record at the box office. Apart from his role in Chris Nolan's 2014 sci-fi epic Interstellar, Matthew McConaughey's recent major films like Serenity and The Dark Tower didn't quite hit the mark critically or financially. This suggests that he might not have the star power to anchor a major franchise successfully. The failure of The Dark Tower, especially, doesn't bode well for McConaughey's potential as the new face of Pirates of the Caribbean. Originally intended as a blockbuster franchise launcher, The Dark Tower crashed and burned despite the success of Stephen King's It that same year. However, the decisions of studio executives and the sentiments of fans don't always align. Many have speculated about what Pirates of the Caribbean would look like with McConaughey at the helm, especially considering the buzz around him during his rise to popularity. While box office performance is significant, the ongoing discussions online about the possibility of McConaughey as Jack Sparrow suggest that counting him out solely because of the Dark Tower might be premature for Disney. The next option could be Joaquin Phoenix. Connecting Joaquin Phoenix to Pirates of the Caribbean's Jack Sparrow might seem unusual at first glance, but the actor's career actually shares some similarities with Johnny Depp's trajectory before he took on the role. Phoenix has garnered both critical acclaim and mainstream success, much like Depp did prior to Pirates. However, Phoenix's already established success could potentially work against him in this case. He has shown little inclination toward big-budget tentpole projects, aside from his role in the dark and gritty Joker and its upcoming sequel. It's doubtful that he'd be interested in lighter, comedic fare. Unlike Depp, who could have used the Pirates sequels to bolster his career and fund more personal projects, Phoenix doesn't necessarily need a boost. With Joker's massive box office success and his own Oscar win, he's already at the top of his game, and it's unlikely he'd jump aboard Disney's ship as it struggles in the wake of Depp's departure. Well, that's it for today. What are your thoughts on the potential reboot and the casting choices discussed? Do you think Joaquin Phoenix could bring a fresh perspective to the role of Jack Sparrow? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on your favorite movies and franchises. And we'll see you in the next video.